So the type of entity that real estate investors use to invest in, or the, the entity that's actually holding assets, there's LLCs, there's land trust, there's another one that you just said. Uh, does the entity that the person should be using, is that like a depends answer? It depends on the rest of their world or is there an advantage to using an LLC over a land trust or an advantage of land trust? Or are there other specialized trusts that you have that gives even greater levels of protection? Well, it is a depends answer because everybody's different and uh, there's no cookie cutter, one size fits all solution. But um, what we do is we look at the person's business, the extent of their real estate investing, their, where they're going, their momentum, their age, what they have already, what they uh, hope to have in the future, and all those things factor in to the type of structure that we would create. And often it's a structure rather than just a simple LLC here or another entity there. Um, it's, it's more asset protection is more than just setting up an LLC, for instance. But, but to, to answer your question, if we wanted to generalize, uh, limited liability companies have become the go-to tool for real estate investors. They are the primary uh, vehicle that real estate investors would use to, once again, limit their liability. But having said that, land trusts we use in combination with limited liability companies. We'll use other types of entities, other trusts, specialized trusts, as you mentioned, and uh, limited partnerships in some certain circumstances. So it's a mix of entities. Uh, that we use in depending on the state, depending upon the person and their and their assets. How complicated it is for someone to go through the process of actually figuring out what is best for them? Well, that's what we do. Uh, so it's it's not complicated for the client. <laughs> it's complicated for us. <laughs> we we handle we handle that, uh, and we do a lot of time analyzing, researching, and making sure that we're getting exactly the right kind of entity for that person in the particular state where they're investing. So it, uh, it it's pretty involved. I mean, there are many many different types of LLCs. Last count. I had was 24 different types of LLCs. And the latest one that just got created was July 1st in Wyoming, a special kind of LLC for crypto investing. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yeah. I, I hadn't even heard of that myself. That, so uh, you just said something. So um, it really, so part of this formula for people is it really depends on what state they're investing in or states mm -hmm. that they're investing in different laws, different states, right? That's correct. Some states are very protective and other states are pretty awful. <laughs> I got you. <laughs>